Hey guys, I'm going to talk to you today about USB flash drives, write protection errors and how to fix them. I've got seven fixes for you, so let's get cracking. First up is checking for viruses. When you insert your USB flash drive into your computer, it automatically scans. And depending on your computer settings will prompt you for an action like importing files or using the file explorer to browse the files and so on. This process uses the auto run file. In the bad old days, the auto run file was easily infected and as such was an easy way of sneaking an infection onto someone's computer. Windows itself has got a lot better at stopping this type of infection and antivirus manufacturers are also much, much better at realising this is a major threat. Stopping this type of infection can come down to the type of antivirus suite you have. For this video, I'm using Panda free antivirus as it comes with a pretty handy auto USB drive scan feature and I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. This is Panda antivirus and I'm going to plug my USB drive into the computer. All being well, in just a moment we'll see a small dialogue window. There we go. And it says new device detected, do you want to scan it now? And we're going to select yes. You'll see I've only got a few files uh, on this USB for the purpose of this video. So this scan was very quick. You've likely got a lot more, so expect the scan to take a little bit longer. Um, because there's no viruses, we're good to go. If you do have a virus, you need to run the actual antivirus scan to quarantine and remove anything nasty before proceeding. Also, if you do find a virus on your flash drive, you need to stop and scan your entire computer in case there's anything nasty lurking there. Before we proceed, I'm going to quickly show you the USB protection options in Panda Free Antivirus, heading to the settings menu and then the USB protection menu. You can see that I've got USB protection turned on. Uh, automatically vaccinates every USB drive inserted into the PC is turned off. That's because I don't really insert my USB flash drives into any PC other than my own so I know where it is and where they've been. If you're using a public PC, say in a school or a library or even your workplace, it's probably best to turn automatic vaccinations on. And similarly, I would keep suggested scans on every single time, just in case you forget to scan manually. Moving on, we're just going to check for a USB flash drive write protection switch. Write protection switches have become somewhat phased out and they're certainly not as prevalent as they were say 10 years ago. Storage has massively increased but you know they are still on a few things so I'll just give you a, a quick example. This is a kangaroo drive with a write protection switch. If it's toggled to the top then the drive is unlocked. If it's toggled to the bottom the entire drive is write protected. Uh, and this is actually one of the main things that trips up SD cards. I'll just bring this image up here and you can see there it's still got an SD card uh, write protection switch. Um, these are prevalent, they've been on basically every SD card I've ever owned and that can be problematic if you are unaware. So next up we're going to just check that the USB drive isn't full. You can type this PC on your Windows PC, you can try at least and scroll, scroll down to your USB flash drive, right click, select properties, and you can see there my drive is basically empty, so I'm going to have no problems writing new data to the disk. If your drive is full, it might not necessarily throw up a write protection error, but you won't be able to write anything to the drive. Okay, next up, we need to check file attributes. You can see the Factorio file here on my desktop. I'm going to right click the file, select properties, and you can see the attributes down here. Now, if read only was selected, I would have trouble um, attempting to modify or edit the file. You can toggle the attribute, hit apply, and you're good. Now, that's all very well and good if you have a file or two or five on your drive. If you have a larger drive, scanning through every single one manually is going to be extremely time consuming and we don't want that. So if you hit the Windows key and X followed by command prompt admin, 
you'll arrive in the command prompt. Now, you want to type disk part, all one word, and that starts the Windows command prompt disk partition tool. When it loads, type list disk, and you can see there it's listed my currently mounted drives from disk zero to disk four. Now, type select disk four, for me that selects my USB drive, and to clear the, all the read-only attributes, we're going to type attribute disk clear read only. And there, it immediately clears all of the attribute, the read-only attributes from the disk. Now you can head straight back to the file explorer to complete whatever task you were attempting. Or while we're here, I'm going to quickly show you how to wipe and format the USB drive as that's one of the fixes to come later on. Now you can type list disk again and you see the small asterisk there indicates that disk 4, the USB drive, is still selected. So I know that I can proceed without accidentally wiping one of my main drives. Now. To format the disk, type clean. And all those files that are on there, including the formatting, have now been cleaned, which gives us a completely blank drive. So we'll now create a new primary partition by typing create partition primary. And we've succeeded in creating the specified partition. Now, Make sure it's active by typing active. Then type format fs for file system equals n n t f s. Then you can use the label command to give your drive a label. I'm going to call it muo drive. So that's nice and easy. And then we're going to assign it the quick format attribute and I'm going to press enter and that's going to complete. If you have a specific reason to use the longer format just remove the quick attribute we added and there you see the disk part has successfully formatted the volume. When it completes type exit to leave disk part, exit again to leave the command prompt and we can go back to this PC and we can find our drive, right click, select properties, they're completely empty, so there's nothing there. Next up, we're going to address registry issue. Now I've covered this in the article that this video is related to, but I'll just bring up a section of the article here for you to see, uh, so you can see where it is. Uh, it's called Into the Registry We Go, and it relates specifically to a registry uh, key called storage device policies. Um, if it is toggled to one, value one, it means yes, right protect my USB storage devices. Conversely, zero means no, don't. So set the value to zero and press OK. Um, I'm being a little bit brief here because I've actually created another video that you can head to the article and view, which details this process uh, much more accurately and you can watch the video there and follow the, that tutorial. So we'll move on to the next section and the final fix which is simply formatting your drive. Now we, we formatted the drive earlier using disk part but we can have a quick go at using the file explorer to format it as well which is very easy. So type this PC again, head back to your drive right click and you see the format option there in the context menu and you can take format muo drive which is what we named it using disk part it's the same formatting as already set and press start and it's going to erase all the data on the disk uh, which we've already done and that shouldn't take long um, remember if you want to use disk part you can head back and check that section of the video out uh, you see here that the drive is now formatted, we can close it and the drive is good to go, um, it will have no write protection errors anymore. 
Um, so, thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope you now have no problems.